Hi Nabil, we are here with Hi Fi at the Munich High End Show and we're very excited to present you uh, some of our latest products. So here is, for example, the Aria. The Aria is a downstream version of the H1000 V2. So basically, it features most of its technology, but after the years of research and development, we've been able to reuse this technology in a more effective way. So we're able to produce a very similar sound, still providing a very large sound stage with a very uh, consistent sound and very detailed treble sound and soft at the same time in a headphone that is now nearly half the price. So we hope that everybody will get the chance to listen to it and see how incredible now we can make uh, the value for the price. Okay, so similar drivers, similar sound quality to the HC1000. Exactly. Uh, the build quality is similar to the Ananda drive. Exactly. So that's how the cost has going to be done because it's a similar framework to the Ananda but with uh, drivers from the, the 1000. That's right? exactly what it is. It's basically a 1000 driver tuned a bit differently in an old cup. Okay. Pricing around... 1600 was it? Pricing is around here, yeah, 1800. 1800, okay. So, this is for a step up, a big step up a, from the Ananda. Big step up from the Ananda. Only thing you have to be aware it requires a dedicated amplifier. Okay. So, that's one thing you have to do because it's as power hungry as the HE1000, the original one. Okay. So, if you want to go one step up, you can go for the Aria but you require an amplifier, or you can go for the HE1000 SE, which is a huge step-up that works on all the portable devices. Much more efficient. Yes, exactly, much more efficient. Oh. So, true wireless, so this here at Hi-Fi Man is the Bluetooth here, because we're now convinced that the technology has been improved so much that we can now have the same quality as the wired headphones with the Bluetooth, due to the, all the new codecs like LDAC, Aptex HD, Aptex, AAC for Apple, and LHDC from Huawei. So we truly think that the future is in the Bluetooth technology. This is why this year we're focusing on making very high-end Bluetooth products. So we are still in the prototype phase, but soon, within a month or two, we should be able to release those products and have, it, uh, have the dream come true. Okay, uh, show us a bit uh, the, 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 the True Wireless. So here in this box we have the True Wireless from hi -Fi Man. So it is a True Wireless earphone, as you can see, with its charging case. The battery is 5 hours and a half. With the charging case, it can be improved to 25 hours. Okay, what does it make it different from other True Wireless operators in the market? There are many. This one is, I think, around 200. 10 euros, something like that, but what does it make it different from? Exactly, this one will be 200 euros retail price. Difference, main difference is the sound quality. We want to let people enjoy good music while they can freely move and work in workplaces or travel safely. This is the future of the sound quality for the Bluetooth products. What makes, it, what makes the sound quality better of this product? Does it have uh, some sort of great drivers? What does it have? No, it's a one-way driver. Uh, the way the shape, the shape, the inside shape of uh, the earphone allow the sound waves to go directly to your ear more quickly. So you have very quick uh, response on the, um, on the speaker. But what is really good is we focused on putting a good dynamic driver inside. Mm -hmm. Whereas most of the companies making true wireless earphones, they focus more on the battery life and uh, the fit. We have taken this into consideration, but we also wanted to provide good sound quality. This is why we're now turning to this. And we hope that many people will understand how much it can improve the sound quality from the earphones. Um, in terms of codecs, is it a PTX HD, LDAC, or what does it have? Uh, in terms of codec, uh, it will support Aptex and AAC from Apple. It will not support the very high-res formats because we want it to be to work from very far distance. You can work; it can work up till 50 meters. But if you use all the very high-res codecs, so LDAC and Aptex and HD, 
you are limited to a reach of 20 meters. So we want people to be able to go as far as they want and to be able to freely move wherever it is in the workspace or at home and they listen to the music at the same time. And the ability is the revolution because the reason why we've managed to use the same technology as the Ananda, we've just implemented a USB DAC, a high-res Bluetooth receiver, and a small amp inside the cup, on the top part of the cup. So it's the same driver, it's still an open headphone. And we've done many improvements, so now it works without the cable. So very excited to be able to try and tell us if they can hear a big difference, but so far most of the people are convinced that it's as good as the wired version. Pricing, it's on. Pricing will be a bit more than the Ananda, so the wired version of the Ananda, the original one, retails for 1,000 euros. The Bluetooth version will retail for 1,300 euros. So a bit more expensive, but you're paying more to have the ability to freely move without the hassle of the cable. So basically you could move around the house and still look, uh, listen your great high resolution music. And... That's exactly the purpose of it, to be able to move freely in your house, at work. Still, it still needs to be in a quiet environment because it's a very open headphone, but it allows you to freely move wherever you want to go. The good thing with the Ananda Bluetooth is that we wanted to focus on the very high quality of the sound.